What is the deal with Stuart and NASCAR? And when will it end already? This one man is causing chaos in NASCAR, and what he did just now is one of the most surprising acts that nobody saw coming. So will there be no more NASCAR? And what deal has Tony Stewart just pulled out of? Hello, Viscarians! Welcome back to NASCAR Zone. But before we begin, do subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Tony Stewart might have trouble keeping Stewart Haas racing in the top tier of NASCAR, but he knows how to market. A week after saying that the winner of a spring car race at his Ohio track would get $1 million, the three-time Cup Series champion came up with a smart way to schedule year three of his superstar racing experience SRX. The people in charge of NASCAR and the people who own the tracks probably won't like it. The superstar racing experience SRX, which is similar to the old Iro series, is starting to make plans for 2023. Tony Stewart, who helped start SRX, said last week, that the six-race competition will now be shown on ESPN on Thursday nights instead of CBS on Saturday nights. This is good news for all of the small tracks in the country. We don't yet know who will be driving in 2023, but SRX released its schedule on Wednesday. Once again, it has a lot of events in the Northeast and Midwest. Geography is just a way to make logistics work. The races happen every week, and SRX makes and takes care of the cars. That means staying close to the shop so the cars can be fixed and wrapped as needed and still get to the next track on Thursday. Tommy Stewart is good at marketing, and he also knows how to save money. For the second time in three years, he has set up an SRX race at his own Eldora Speedway. That's also the track where Stewart is giving a $1 million and $23 prize to the winner of a sprint car race a month earlier. Almost the whole schedule is set up so that races will be held close to the NASCAR Cup Series race that weekend. And here is what the schedule looks like. July 13, Stafford Motor Speedway in Stafford Springs, Connecticut with NASCAR in Loughton, New Hampshire. On July 16, on July 20, Thunder Road Speed Bowl will be in Bear, Vermont with NASCAR will be at Pocono on July 23. July 27, Motor Mile Speedway in Radford, Virginia with NASCAR at Richmond on July 30, August 3. Berlin Raceway in Grand Rapids, Michigan, with NASCAR at Michigan International on August 6. August 10, Eldora Speedway in New Weston, Ohio, with NASCAR at Indianapolis on August 13. August 17, Lucas Auto Speedway in Wheatland, Missouri, with NASCAR at Watkins Glen on August 20. Stafford is the only track that SRX has used for all three of its seasons. But the most important thing to learn from this is how easy it will be for Cup Series drivers to get from the first five tracks to their NASCAR duties a few days later. Last season, SRX races were on Saturdays, and NASCAR races were on Sundays, so they were close to each other in terms of location. But because Cup Series qualifying was on Saturday, it was usually not possible for drivers to do both jobs. On Saturday, Ryan Blaney and Chase Elliott raced at Sharon Speedway in Ohio. The next day, they raced at Pocono, but no other top series drivers were there. What do you think about this strategy of Tony Stewart? Tell us in the comments below. Also, do subscribe to our channel for more updates on NASCAR. Tony Stewart, who helped start SRX, might find it easier to get some big names to try it out this time. The Stewart Haas Racing Garage might be a good place to start looking for people to hire. When Stafford Speedway tweeted the date of the race and tagged Kevin Harvick, he said, Hong, huh, seems convenient. But NASCAR is likely going to have a problem with Stewart's schedule at some point. Would people buy tickets to races, NASCAR, and its tracks make money? If those fans pay to watch the SRX race on Thursday, they may be less likely to pay to watch the nearby Xfinity Series race on Saturday or the Cup Series race on Sunday. After SHR got hit with two big fines at the end of last season, Stewart probably doesn't care much about hurting NASCAR's feelings. Stewart has surprised everyone, including club owners, by pulling off a deal that was predicted after becoming the head of the probable split movement that has been mentioned more and more recently. Stewart is clearly a guy who cares more about the individuals involved in NASCAR than the people in charge, which is why the possibility of a break has been mentioned yet again. Currently, the main source of dispute between NASCAR team owners 
and the NASCAR president is the business model. The team owners receive a relatively little amount of the money, and when it comes to bringing money to the table, roughly 80% should come from sponsorships. Stewart has made it clearly apparent that SRX is neither a pastime nor a distraction from NASCAR, but rather a stable championship with aspirations to expand. Stewart has shown this once more by obtaining a TV contract with ESPN to broadcast all six races slated for the 2023 season. What a daring move, knowing that a new TV contract was due to be completed between NASCAR and the TV meteorites in 2024. This series presently includes 11 full-time drivers, and the previous two titles were won by Stewart and Marco Andretti. This branding was originally utilized to highlight lower levels of dirt and paved racing across the states, and the fact that ESPN is bringing it back exclusively for SRX demonstrates that the competition has taken a major swing at capturing NASCAR and finally defeating them in their own game. Stewart remarked about the ESPN TV deal and what it means for the series, further adding, Thursday Night Thunder is where people like me who were just starting our careers in USAC got the chance to build a name for themselves due to its prominence on ESPN. It's amazing to see Thursday Night Thunder return, but it's even better to be a part of it all over again with SRX. Don Hawk, the CEO of SRX, discussed the contract with ESPN and how celebrity drivers across the United States can benefit from it. When we had the opportunity to pitch the notion of Thursday Night Thunder on ESPN, I knew it would be another disruptive and significant event in SRX in racing history. Reuniting fans with ESPN on small tracks with superstar drivers all around the United States for years to come. But this isn't even the most unpleasant thing for NASCAR. The fact that Tony Stewart is organizing a sprint car race with a record-breaking million-dollar reward will surely push NASCAR drivers to go in and test out in this new category. Tony is doing everything he can to convince NASCAR that they no longer run anything and that the split will come sooner rather than later. However, as of yet, the breakup is only a rumor, with no official confirmation. Stewart is making sure to grab all of the goods and push SRX as the best alternative to NASCAR since the championship is slowly but surely dying due to all of the displeasure from team owners. The fact that Eldora has boosted their bid to $1 million, which has never happened before, and that it is owned by Stewart, simply goes to indicate that Tony has some personal business with NASCAR and is prepared to escape this dispute on the winning side. What are your thoughts on Stewart's deal with ESPN? Let us know in the comments below. That's all for today. Hope you enjoyed it. So don't forget to subscribe to our channel to see more of our videos on NASCAR updates. Look forward to seeing you in the next video.